Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Command Modern Operations, a new game which just came out, was it Thursday or Friday? I think it was Thursday, uh, just a couple of days ago, and it is a sequel to Command Modern Air Naval Operations. This is a uh, granddaddy of a game, if you will, a huge, uh, complex, real-time uh, strategic, well, str it's definitely strategic, but it's probably more tactical and operations level uh, combat uh, war game. And so today we're going to be jumping into this game, which uh, gloriously supports all of the previous scenarios and games that came out in the previous version of the game. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at one of the campaigns, Command Chains of War. Uh, it's a, I think it starts with North Korea and ends up with a China scenario. I've never played through it, but it's one of the modern um, campaigns. So there's sort of a hypothetical Third World War campaign that was put out uh, called Northern Inferno. There was one that looked at some hypotheticals of the Desert Storm War, and it was a Desert Storm conflict campaign. There was a campaign that looked at submarine conflicts uh, or potential submarine uh, engagements. And then there was a Middle Eastern uh, campaign uh, that looked at sort of Israel and its history in the Middle East. And in this one, this is more, well, they're all a little bit hypothetical, but this one is definitely going to be very strongly uh, in the hypothetical camp. And this is World War III in the near future, I assume anyway. It certainly starts out uh, in a Korea conflict. So you can see here, it's an exploration of a war between the United States and its Pacific allies against China and North Korea in the near future. Players will use uh, CMO uh, simulation to think about military capabilities, implement evol evolving strategies, and experiment with possible techniques of various nations in the context of the biggest war in the Pacific since the Second World War. It includes a 12-scenario tw story-driven campaign, three historical but hypothetical scenarios, and one completely hypothetical scenario involving technology from a Cold War with the Soviets that continued. The goal is that players will learn and explore difficult but relevant topics while having a good time in doing so. Um, to understand why the Pacific powers could go to war, it is important to understand their geopolitical concerns and strategies. So I'm not going to read through all of this, but basically uh, it's a 12 campaign uh, scenario, or can a 12 scenario campaign uh, that's linked, and then there's those four historical bonus and hypothetical scenarios. Um... You could read through all this if you really want. You can pause the video or whatever and, and read through it. But I'm not going to be, I'm not going to bore you with more details there. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, the first scenario in the campaign is Blue Dawn. It is May 1st of 2018. So I guess this is a little bit in the past, but I think this was right around when the scenario was originally released. Uh, the scenario takes place in the Yellow Sea. Kim Jong-un inherited the leadership of North Korea, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so there's going to be a conflict breaking out between the U.S. and uh, North Korea. That's how the scenario starts. So we are playing the scenario from the side of South Korea. So it looks like we're actually not the United States yet. Uh, my objectives are the destruction of 15 pre-planned targets threatening our island garrisons following... Uh, followed by ambushing North Korean land and sea assets as they sortie to challenge our forces. Ensure maximum destruction for minimum losses to achieve the desired punitive effect. Expect uh, pop-up threats from artillery and missiles as they emerge from hidden tunnels in the hills. Airspace likely to be vigorously contested by DPRK air forces. I have nine hours to complete my tasks. My targets, initial target aim points include 15 targets that threaten the Yopong and Baijiong island garrisons. These include 130 millimeter artillery batteries and supporting ammo dumps, as well as KN-01 surface to surface missile batteries and their supporting radars. They have all been marked target on my tactical map. Command expects DPRK to counterattack as they are able. You are to monitor the North Korean coastline and destroy any emerging threats with a focus on units able to inflict harm on South Korean forces and civilians. Okay, um, so we've got quite a few forces. I'm not going to read through all of this, but essentially we have uh, 42 F-15K Strike Eagles and four E-737 Wedge Hill Airborne Early Warning Radars uh, based out of Deju Air Base. Kunsun Air Base has some F-16s. Uh, Sensun Hamai Air Base has F-16s. Uh, Juju Air Base has uh, P-3C Orions. Uh, and some Global Hawk UAVs. 
Uh, we've got some Apaches. Ooh, that'll be nice. So at Swanson Air Base, we have 12 AH-64E Apaches. Those could be useful in knocking out enemy artillery batteries. Uh, we have some air. We have an air base with uh, 14 FA-50 Golden Eagles. I'm not familiar with the FA-15 or what that is. And then we have two garrisons, which are really the uh, main goal here to protect these two garrisons. But they have 155 millimeter artillery batteries located in each of those garrisons. We also have a naval task force in the Yellow Sea, uh, some frigates and and whatnot. Uh, and then we have some submarines also operating off the North Korean coast. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here. Game is still paused. You can see here we have nine hours to go, zero hundred hours, May 1st, 2018. And we'll let the map load in here. You can see we have a task force here uh, off the southern sort of southwest coast of North Korea, of South Korea, sort of south north coast. I don't know. No northwest coast of North South Korea, southwest coast of, of North Korea. Um, you can see here there's missile gunboats. Are they all missile gunboats? Looks like we've got missile gunboats out front. Or no, that's in rear. And then we've got a task force, Yongano, in the back here. There's five units in this task force. Uh, I'm not sure. Doesn't tell me what they're consisted of. Group composition. So it looks like frigates. Frigates and destroyers here in this task force. Three destroyers, two frigates. That's the FF stands for frigate. The DDH is a helicopter uh, destroyer, and the DDG is a guided missile destroyer. So we have five ships here and a task force here uh, off the western coast of South Korea. And then we've got gunboats out front and another force up here. These are missile gunboats out front. Uh, in addition to that, we have, it looks like, four submarines based off the northwest coast of uh of the koreas we have a big red no fly zone over the majority of north korea that's what this big red sort of um i don't know what what shape this is but whatever it is it's uh it's a no fly zone uh and then if we you know we can see all of south korea down here we've got uh our deju air base over here which has our f-15 eagles um as well as some of our airborne early warning radar aircraft uh, we've got further air bases back here deep into the south uh, these consist of f-50 fa-50 these must be some light ground attack aircraft because again i'm not super familiar with the fa-50 um but you can see it carries rockets so to me that means and and mavericks so it must mean it's some kind of light uh unit here we, i'm sure we could take a look at it actually um aircraft Uh, I don't want to actually launch the aircraft to take a look at it. It'll let me take a look at it when they fly, though. Uh, meanwhile, we've got more air bases off here on the, you know, on the western coast. We've got some SAM batteries, some uh, Patriots. Uh, we also have uh, some uh, F-16s with air-to-air -air loadouts over here. A little bit further north near Seoul. Uh, we have a further 36 aircraft, again, more F-16s, mostly with air-to-ground loadouts, either laser-guided missiles or uh, Mavericks. Um, Stefan X, thank you very much for the, f uh, for the follow, by the way. Uh, and then further north here at Swansun Air Base, we have 12 aircraft, and they are all armed with Hellfires, and they are uh, AH-64 Apache Longbows, so these guys could be pretty useful, I think. We're going to unpause for just a second, and then we'll pause again so the enemy units kind of pop in here. So you can see as we zoom in down here, we have 15 pre-planned targets according to the uh, according to the briefing. And if we go back to our side briefing here, uh, it says 15 targets. They're made up of 130 millimeter artillery batteries, surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and I think there's also some radars as well. So as we zoom in down here, like none of these guys way out here. None of these guys are targets, you know, as a... What are they even? SAM batteries of some kind. So they're a little bit more dated. But the bulk of our targets are here in the southern western corner of, uh, of North Korea. Um, that's because our objective here is to defend the Yunpong uh, Island Garrison. And then also the uh, Bain Yong Garrison. So there's two garrisons here. On, these are on islands uh, off the coast of North Korea that apparently South Korea has military forces on that they garrison. I haven't read through all the details, if you will. I love, you can just see the sandbanks off the shore. That's so cool. Um, and then there's another island garrison over here. So there's two South Korean island garrisons that are obviously north of the 38th parallel uh, that South Korea held on to after the uh, conclusion of the first Korean War. 
and you can see that the targets that we have to take out here are units that are arranged around those bases here. So you can see these are actual coastal artillery batteries, presumably within artillery range to bombard these guys with, uh, you know, ground with shells. And then we've got some radar sites and some fixed uh, anti-ship missile or surface to surface missile sites that are our targets here. So these, uh, Coastal artillery batteries are definitely our targets, and then these radars are also our targets, as well as these munition depots. So any of these things here that say target are what we're intending to shoot at, intending to shoot out. The Haiju port is not, but all these radars and all these artillery facilities, as well as these uh, munitions uh, facilities are also our targets. Apparently not this Tall King radar, not the naval base at Rondo, all of these guys on the southern coast. So what do we have to work with? So we know we've got a bunch of F-15s and a bunch of F-16s uh, that are all uh, ships that we can, or all bases that we can work with. But I think the main strike force that I'd like to go to uh, first are these uh, Hun Mong, or however you pronounce it, these 3B, these 32 surface-to-surface -surface missiles. These are guided weapons. These are surface-to-surface -surface missiles, uh, I believe anyway. I think that's what they are, <laughs> that uh, are able to launch at uh, enemy land targets. They're cruise missiles, um, I think. What am I seeing here? Where do I see this? The 3B, guided weapon, 300 feet AGL, 85% reliability, yeah, I mean, these are cruise missiles. So with a 450 kilogram warhead by the looks of it. Okay, so I think what we want to do is this surface group down here to the south has the bulk of our striking power. And I'm not sure if I can actually... Can I engage this target for another... How long? 10 seconds? All right. Let's go ahead and unpause for 10 seconds. You can see here there's some radar pings. Someone's pinging our, uh, our aircraft there with radar. All right, so we're, 10, we're 11 seconds in. You can see there's also some kind of enemy Corvette off the coast here uh, near the garrison. I don't know if that'd be a target or not, but uh, in any event here, we've got our task force here of uh, cruisers and destroyers selected off the coast, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna light up some targets here. So we're gonna go ahead and do some manual targeting here to get this uh, battle underway. First thing I'm going to target is this enemy munitions dump. It is a target. I'm going to go ahead and assign three cruise missiles to it. You can see here, as soon as we assign those three cruise missiles to the target, it says we have 32. We have three allocated. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to manually engage this radar set, which is a, another target here. We're going to allocate two to that radar set. So that gives us up to... Actually... What did I allocate? Oh, shit. I'm allocating the wrong weapon. You can't actually, you can't actually hit with, that was like, I don't even know, there's 127 millimeter shells that wants us to close into range. So we're just going to allocate two more of these uh, cruise missiles here to this uh, radar set here. So we've allocated three to this munitions dump and two to these coastal radars. Now there are artillery facilities here and here, uh, or guns. We are going to knock those enemy guns out, but not quite yet. So we're going to hit those with something else, if you will. Um, I'm going to focus my cruise missiles on the fixed targets that we know their actual geographic location, and the other targets will have to wait uh, for other means for which we will destroy them. Um, munitions dump, we're going to go with three again. Okay, we're going to kind of kind of continue across here where relevant. So these KN01s, I think we can hit them with cruise missiles. I'm going to allocate four cruise missiles to that because I don't really know much about the weapon. I also don't know how many weapons it's going to take to knock it out. So we're going to go ahead and allocate four to the cruise to the KN-01 surface to surface missiles. Then we're going to allocate two to the accompanying radar set. That's half of our munitions armament here allocated to these targets in the southern portion of the uh, of the map. Did I allocate anything here? Uh, let me do this. Does it tell me yeah, okay, so there's already two weapons allocated to that. What about up here? Anything allocated to this coastal radar? Okay, we've got two allocated to that. So we've got the munition dumps, the two munition dumps in the south. We've got the three radar sets in the south. And then we also have, or two radar sets in the south. So two munitions dump, two radar set, 
actually, sorry, two munitions dump, three radar sets, one surface-to-surface -surface missile uh, battery is all being targeted here in the south. Okay, so now we're going to move up to target the bases in the north, close to the other garrison. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to manually target um, this radar site with two. Target this munitions dump with three. And I think. Oh, wait, we're going to go ahead and target this KN01 with four. And that leaves us with seven missiles left over. So the fixed uh, anti ship missile sites and then the coastal artillery batteries are still. Uh, not being targeted yet. So I'm actually going to allocate some cruise missiles to them as well. I'll hit three here. And three here. God. Nah, I did it again. Deallocate. Alright, so we're going to allocate three. Actually, it's just all four. So that's going to be our complement of surface to surface missiles fully allocated and ready to hit the enemy and hit them hard. Meanwhile, we're also gonna set up, while those are all getting ready, we're gonna set up some helo strikes. So we're gonna go ahead and get some aircraft ready here. We're gonna launch four as a group. We'll launch four more as a group. And then we'll launch four more as a group. So we're gonna launch three groups of helos here. It's gonna take two minutes to get them all off, but essentially, this squadron of 12 AH-64 Apache longbows are all going to get up in the air here uh, in a little bit. Greenwald, they better not smash me to bits. I'm hoping they don't. I guess we'll find out. Um, meanwhile, if there is an enemy Corvette over here, I don't know if that's a threat or not. Can we engage it? Look like anything. Do we have any surface-to-surface -surface weapons? We do have four SSMs. Can those hit? Oh, they're not in range. I don't think they're in range of anything. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to plot course in shallow. Our uh, task force here is going to stay off the coast, but we are still going to plot a little bit north. Um, and then I'm also going to want to get some, some aircraft up as well. So what do we want to get up here? I think we'll get up four F-16s to fly top cover for our, for our helos. So we're going to launch four F-16s in the south here at Kunsan Air Base. I also think some of these um, aircraft that we have over here, these F-15s probably can be good at... Uh, Air to ground, Mark 48s, laser guided bombs with lantern pods, and then anti radiation missiles. I'm not as worried about the anti radiation because to me it seems like we're going to hit the majority of the enemy radar facilities. Um, I mean, certainly we'll probably, this isn't going to be the end of the conflict. We're certainly going to have to get a bunch of guys up. Let's do this. Let's launch the uh, FA 50s. We'll launch them in two groups with rockets and mavericks. And then I think we should get more F-16s airborne. So another group of two. Can we actually cancel this? Abort that launch. Can I do this? I don't know if, okay. So I'm assuming these two will, 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 will sortie as separate groups. So we'll have eight air-to-air -air platforms. Um, turn off the music. Am I too loud? Is the music too loud?
Uh, Zen to Zen. What's the issue with the music? Or do you just not like it? Alright. Not Zen enough? I mean, I suppose it could be annoying for someone. Alright, so let's go ahead. Do we have weapons here? All right, I do have artillery as well. I don't know if I can actually issue orders to them individually. I don't know if I can, it doesn't look like I can issue orders to them. Because I would love to manually target the enemy artillery, but it doesn't look like it lets, oh. We might be able to do it, it's out of the OODA loop. Which I was talking to Newhauser, apparently the OODA loop is kind of an Air Force thing. It's not quite as in repute as it used to be, I suppose. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's pull up the TAC view because I want to get a good look at these cruise missiles going up. The one thing I've... Oh, there we go. Come on, TAC view. You can load. All right, so. I could manually just hit this button, but then I can't actually, is there a, a build, is there a control for unpause? Space bar, let's try that. All right, so the one problem with TACView at this point in time is it does have perfect knowledge of pretty much everything. But uh, there's no, like, fog of war. But let's go ahead and... So let me unpause like that. Nope. All right. Missiles away! Woo! I know it's not super exciting for everybody, but I think it's awesome to be like, yep, there go the missiles, and they're going toward their different targets. South Korean forces open fire on the north. Coming out of, well, they'd probably be coming out of vertical launchers up in the front, but I don't think Pack is quite that smart to be like, it should be coming off this compartment of the warship. Thirty-two missiles. Are they all coming off this one DDG? They must be. All 32, or at least 16 of them. You can see they're all going in different directions here. So if we actually close, we can see here, you can see all these different missile tracks here, all coming off the single Task Force DDG that has surface-to-surface -surface missiles. <laughs> that's an ammo, that's a... I don't know what cav means. Does anybody know what cav? Oh, they're cavitating. I'm sure that's what it means. Well, okay, so they're cavitating. I didn't, I didn't exactly order them not to go, I didn't order them to go flank speed or anything. They're at cruise speed. Of course they're gonna cavitate. It's 15 freaking knots. I'm not starting World War III. I'm pretty sure whatever we're doing is in response to something that North Korea has already done. Meanwhile, these appear to all be, I don't think we can use these to launch any land strikes. I think all of our, our submarines only have submarine weaponry. So the Hunmo three land attack cruise missiles what are, are those like a uh, North, or are those a South Korean design all by itself? Or do they have any, is there anything in it that's like, this is actually a tomahawk that's just made and used by South Korea? Or is it like an indigenous design? 
suppose we click on it. Well, there it is. It looks like a tomahawk to me. Granted, I don't know if that's the actual photo of that weapon or if it's just a generic photo. I don't think any of our other aircraft are airborne yet. They're all going to take two minutes to get airborne. Although we should be about two minutes in. Oh, there we go. Flight 2407. You are going to fly this away to avoid enemy radars. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and take a look at our, our flight 403. Your orders are to engage these enemy artillery pieces. All right. 2404, you're going to engage these enemy artillery pieces. And there's one more flight. 2405, you're going to engage both these groups of... Well, no, not all of that, just these. All right, so you're going to engage these artillery sites. So we've got 12 uh, helicopters airborne that are on their way toward North Korea. We also have some F-16s, uh, which are going to hopefully remain out of... So we'll keep them to the west or to the east. These guys lighting up offensive like Oh no, that's wait, Noonsun? Alright, so these are our two flights. Is that a third flight? So these guys are coming in. Oh, they're a flight of four F-16Js. This is a flight of four F-16Js. There's another flight. Oh no, they're all part of the same flight. So two of floor flight. Okay, so we've got those two flights of F-16s. We've got this flight of F-A-50 Golden Eagles, and we've got a second flight of F-A-15 Golden Eagles, also cruising north. So what is the F-A-50 Golden Eagle while we wait for all this stuff to go and land? It uh, looks like a light strike craft. I think this is domestically built in South Korea. Looks like a single engine attack aircraft with two seater. Maybe a slightly less powerful F F-16? It's a family of South Korean supersonic advanced trainer and light combat aircraft. It's largely derived from the F-16 Fighting Falcon and they have many similarities use of single engine, speed, size, cost, and the range of weapons. KIAs or KAI's previous engineering experience and license producing of KF-16s was a starting point for the development of the T-50. Oh, so it's also known as the T-50. Okay. All right, so we've got our uh, helos incoming. I'm assuming the helicopters are coming in low enough. Whoa. Oh no. Yeah, so these helicopters are coming in at 400 feet. I'm assuming they're going to come in low enough to avoid detection. Meanwhile, it looks like our cruise missiles are probably going to get there first. These things are coming in about 550 knots. The helos are coming in. They're further behind, and they're only coming in at 150 knots. Meanwhile, the combat aircraft are flying north at around 480 knots. So they'll probably catch up on the helos a bit. It's not exactly shock and awe, but it's, you know, my version of it. <laughs> what about the feckless leaders, crapper? Okay, so these weapons are all coming in. Let's speed things up just a little. We'll go to times two. I don't want to jump ahead to times five quite yet, since these missiles are all coming in relatively... I mean, they're pretty close. I believe, Charcoal, at least the starting objective is to keep my island garrison safe. So you can see the pairs of missiles and the groups and the triads of missiles all coming in here. Meanwhile, some of these guys are flying north to the northern targets. The enemy hasn't started shooting at us yet. So that's good. 
I'm sure as soon as I say that, they'll start. I don't know what these yellow bands are, if these are land radar or what, but our ships are starting to close in on them. So the enemy's going to see our ships coming into range, potentially. Actually, it could be the surface-to-surface -surface missile batteries. Maybe I should have waited to send our ships in. Alright, so we've got a lot of radar painting this cav. All the way up north, there do appear to be enemy bogeys. I'm going to assume anything flying out of North Korea is hostile. We also have a confirmation on some MiG-23 floggers. Up here in the north. Our missiles are about to hit their targets, so we're going to go ahead and select this. We're going to bring up TAC view. Full screen it. Actually, it doesn't... I can't see! What's happening to my boys? My boys! Give me the glasses. The glasses! Uh, okay. Is something shooting these guys down? I can't change the uh, angle on that for whatever reason. All right, looks like we took out the surface-to-surface -surface missiles, although maybe not the radar. Or we, no, we did take off the targets over there. So we could probably pause. Looks like three missiles slammed into that uh, munitions depot. It suffered heavy damage, but it's not out of action yet. Meanwhile, that other radar here we probably overkilled. Three more missiles into this right bunker over here. That one's nearly destroyed. And then we knocked out another radar facility over here. Meanwhile, another radar detection. Should probably pop up here. Weapon damage. So it penetrated and destroyed or damaged these various coastal facilities. All right, so we knocked out those enemy surface-to-surface -surface weapons. What about the weapon end game? We had one malfunction, two mal... Oh no, one malfunction. We had several malfunctions, actually. I don't think the planes are anywhere near my missile. Oh, these missiles. These guys over here? I don't think so. I mean, if they are, whatever they're trying to do, they haven't worked. We've destroyed these radar facilities up in the north, and we've destroyed the radar facilities in the south. Now that we destroyed those radar facilities, it looks like our cavalry's coming in here undetected by enemy radar. Because there's no enemy band here. There's a wider radar band, maybe. This red thing. But I think that's my own radars. In any event, those cruise missiles did their job. We still have to knock out the enemy artillery. But we've at least destroyed all of their radar facilities and their surface-to-surface -surface missile batteries. These guys might be trying to chase down our, uh, our missiles here. But it doesn't look like they're going to get there. The missiles got in ahead of them. All right, so we destroyed one of the enemy surface-to-surface -surface batteries, and we damaged another one up here in the north. Meanwhile, we got a bunch of enemy air contacts all showing up here. My F-16s are going are gonna to bank in here to come in high behind our helos. I don't know if I've done enough to suppress enemy SAMs. Although it looks like, I think we, I don't see much in the way of enemy SAM launchers. We've got some SA-2s, but those aren't super problematic. Fifteen minutes in, I'm gonna slow things up. I wanna look at the score. So right now we are winning! 700 score! Still below the pass mark for the, for the uh, so if we take a look, we've fired 32 Hunmo 3Bs. The enemy's lost six KNO-1 Tels, four radar square tire range outs, and nine 130 millimeter SPG M1975 self-propelled howitzers. We've lost nothing so far. Meanwhile, our other ships or, or other craft 
here are moving in. We're going to speed things up to times five. This group of FA-50 Golden Eagles are going to swing in this way as well. We're going to need them to destroy the ground targets. Meanwhile, our ships are headed in at 15 knots, close in shore. There's still one enemy artillery battery up here in the north. Probably should launch a strike against that. Let's take a look and see what we have aircraft-wise. Everything there is up. What about over here? I don't want harms. I'll take Mavericks. Give me four of those things. Launch as a group. We're going to strike the... Uh, these guys that can also strike the southern group. These are the helos. These are the fast movers coming in behind the helos. We're going to bank these. We're actually going to have these guys bank out wide. Just in case there's any surface-to-surface -surface tar targeting us. I don't see enemy fighters in the area. There's a bunch in the north. We're not picking anything up, up quite yet here. Sounds like more aircraft might be taken off. I'd actually like to destroy everything over here. What are these guys? These are F-16s. Probably should not get yourself too close in. Still only moving at 480 knots. Getting a nice little cap over here, though. Alright, these guys... Man, these guys are so much faster than the helos. Where the hell are the helos? Oh, there, there's the Apaches. Alright, so our Apaches are firing some missiles here at the enemy uh, artillery batteries. There we go. TACVIEW Advanced Edition is $80. Uh, it's not cheap, but what I will say is you do get a 21-day free trial if you want. So let's slow things up and let's watch things in TACVIEW. These things sure fly in fast. They're hitting before I can load TACVIEW! All right, let's pause for a second. Come on, Tac View, you've got this. All right, there you go. So we'll click on this missile. We'll zoom out here. All right, so here we are. We're in Tac View. We can see the targets. We can see the missile down in front of us going in. So our missile's gonna do a. It's almost like a little bit of a pop-up attack here. So that one hit. It's not destroyed yet, but there's another missile coming in. There does appear to be an SA-16 in the vicinity, but that's apparently a man pad. And again, I can't see that because you can see everything perfectly in TAC view. You can't see everything perfectly in uh, command itself. So there's our uh, eagles here, or I guess, or I think these are, I don't even know what those are. Um, F-16s or TA-50s, F-A-50s or something. But you can see a bunch more Hellfires coming in down on these targets, attempting to destroy this artillery battery. This guy's pretty damn resilient. All right, there he goes. He's done. All right, so let's zoom out here. So our helos have finished off that guy. These guys, this is just basic AAA by the looks of it. So we should probably, if we still have any ammo left, we should focus it in on this ammunition dump. Looks like we still do have 24 Hellfires. So we'll go ahead and select this flight. We'll go ahead and try and see it in TAC view again. 
I should keep this open and just move it up. What I would what I would do if I wasn't streaming in all honesty is I would probably just have Tack View open on a second monitor. I've done that before and it's pretty awesome. But um Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and focus in on this flight. Really? All right, so we'll zoom down in on these uh, these Apaches. You can see also, by the way, in TAC view where a unit has moved, you've got like a little bit of a, uh, a contrail in behind it. So you can see it's fired that, another Hellfire out, another Hellfire out. Each one of these carries four Hellfires, I think. Or maybe it's 16. Yeah, I mean, you have to send up cap and rescues and all that. That's all stuff that you have to manage. You can see this other wolf number six is coming in here firing its hellfire at the enemy munition dump. I don't know how many hellfires the munition dump can take. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a sturdy little bugger there. Let's zoom back out. So we've got more missiles incoming. So our guys are using Hydra rockets against this munitions depot over here. I don't even think these other guys have Hydras. No, they still have a shit ton of Hellfires, though. Well, these are these are golden eagles. Do you have anybody flying up north here to take out that last enemy artillery battery? New contact, Sam one six three de detected by ROK. Estimated 95 nautical miles. Long, long, large contrail detected. Where is this enemy Sam? I don't see anything. Another Sam's going long, going live or going up. I'm not sure if if it's being fired at the TA 50s or FA 50s, or if it's being fired. Oh, we're detecting SAMs being launched way up here in the north? Jesus, how long a range do those guys have? They don't have, like, S-300s or anything. All right, well, these Golden Eagles are turning tail. They've expended their ordnance. Meanwhile, these Hellfires are coming in here. They're going to auto-target, and they're going to move in on these targets. I don't know where these SAMs are, are headed, but there's a lot of fucking SAMs coming up. Looks like they're coming in on the uh, the angle of the FA-50s, which I think did a good job of reducing what was left of the enemy artillery here. There's only one more target in there. We've just got to finish off this munitions depot here on the right. But the actual firing platforms are gone, so it's just a static target. We could probably hit that with land-based air if we need to. Still have 17 Hellfires, though. We might as well take them out. Meanwhile, those SAMs are cruising in on these these poor defenseless... All these are strike aircraft, and they're about to get obliterated from long distance. Yeah, but how good is the North Korean S-300 system, Pat? Really? Unless it's actually, like, given to them by Russia or China or something? All right, we're about to watch some, uh, some planes die. Why are these look like darts? Usually for, like, the... Okay, that's weird. For the, F, for the other aircraft, they have, like, an actual silhouette of the damn things. 
What type of Sam is it anyway? Does it tell us? KNO6? Is that what it is? What's the KNO6? The, is that the North Korean S300? Come on. Give me, give me a break. All right, our helos are still down there attacking those targets at low altitude. How about you guys die for the deck? I don't even see where these Sams are. Did they... Huh. I wonder if we were at the maximum range for those enemy Sams. Because they they definitely fell off there. So we must have been like right at their max range. And since we had turned away, we, clo we, we got out of range before they could do much. This munitions depot feels like a waste of ammo. So got 11 Hellfires. These guys still have 24. But it just feels like we're firing a shit ton of Hellfires to really no purpose. I mean, my, my F-16s, I'm going to head back south. I don't want to get engaged. Auto-engage that target. All right, so we've got eight more Mavericks on these uh, FA-50s. Yeah, they might be mostly underground. That's a good point. I mean, these are anti-tank missiles that the helos are firing. It is slowly wearing it down. I'm going to send the FA-50s in to try and finish off the depot. I mean, it looks like we've at least taken the stomach out of the most, the majority of the enemy defense here. There are, are these enemy fighters? God damn it. Plot, turn around. Plot, engage. Right, they're probably going to take the depot out eventually. Tiger 1. Engage. Looks like MiG-19s that are chasing them. You can see these uh, eagles are coming in to hit their targets. Meanwhile, the MiG-19s are chasing them. Poor MiG-19s. They're going to be up against four F-16s. <laughs> North Korea is fun, isn't it? Remember, this is the beginning of the campaign. Presumably, China is going to come in, uh, come in pretty harsh. John Walker, thanks for the follow. Millick, thanks for the follow. Too old. Also, thank you for the follow. I must have missed a couple of follows. Follows in there. Why aren't you guys firing on them? Why are you? Okay, there you go. There's your Amrams. Oh, KN06 is also coming up from Sam Batteries over here. Oh, that's a bad angle. Oh, that's a lot of KN06s. All right, so they they finished off that target. So, yeah, I see. I want you to plot course and run, run for your goddamn asses. I have no idea what what uh, vintage they are. Throttled in altitude. Um, let's get to minimum altitude. Afterburners! Or just military speed? I don't know. Whatever it is, get the hell out of Dodge. The kno 6s could be firing at the uh, Golden Eagles, too, by the way. Vintage? Old as fuck. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. 
All right, how far away were those Kano sixes? Where? How are we detecting gun contrails that far north? Nick, also thank you for the follow. What is detect? What eyeballs do we have all the way up here? Alright, these guys are diving down toward the deck. Hoping the missiles lose them in the ground clutter. I don't know much about the S300 other than it's a very good system. Alright, these, these guys are going to be going in on their raid here. These guys probably are out of ammo. Yeah, they are. Alright, so let's actually take a, let's take a 3D look. Sorry if it's a little... I should stop closing this. I should just drag it over here. Zoom! Well, no. You're way lower than that, aren't you? Well, how are you going to hit the guy? You're going to dive in? What is that, a dive bomber attack? Oh, I guess you can hit him with missiles from pretty high up, I suppose. So multiple Mavericks are headed down that way. God damn it. I need to change my notification settings. So that it doesn't pop up every time a missile's fired. Yeah, I don't know why the FA-50s look like that. Most of the other aircraft look like the actual aircraft. Boom! Come on, destroy the guy. How goddamn strong is this bunker? Okay, I get it. There's lots of enemy missiles being shot. So far, I haven't ventured too close to the enemy, I don't think. I'm assuming they don't have a lot of missiles either to uh, fling up, although they certainly have been firing them off like drunken sailors. Our helos all look like they made it out of there. Well, at least on the, the, right, the right attack. The guys on the left are still firing off their handful of remaining uh, weapons. This munitions depot is still hanging in there, though. So we're continuing to hammer it with Mavericks. Infrared guided Mavericks. Still about 50% damage. You know, all these guys, they're returning to base. So these two munitions depots are at about 50% each. Sam's. We're gonna have to launch a, a second second strike over here. I don't think we've actually lost any casualties yet, though. We got a losses and expenditures. We haven't lost any men yet. So far, the enemy has used 23 KN-06s. They've also lost two MiG-20, MiG-19. They're not just MiG-19s. They're MiG-19 copies. As well as uh, two 30 millimeter anti aircraft guns, 33 130 millimeter howitzers, four radars, and six KNO 1 tells. Where is the B? Oh, the B2. That's a good question. I don't know where the B2 is. Let's speed things up. Let's see if these guys get out of here. They're firing these guys at our. FA-50s. The missiles are closing! Are you taking evasive action? Is that why you just turned? You have no more ground attack weapons. They must have missed.
Yeah. Either their weapons missed, or they, uh, or they ran out of fuel. Either way, same result for us. All right, what can we do with our F-15s? What's their weapon loadout again? I guess we can give laser-guided bombs a chance. I don't know why they're air-to-ground missiles when they're Mark 84s. But in any event, we're going to get a bunch more aircraft aloft here. They're also F-15s, so I'm going to assume they can fend for themselves. Now we're going to have all these guys that are already in the air. RTB. These F-16s. Their fuel's still okay. We'll have them keep loitering over there on the left. Alright. Auto target. You finish off that munitions depot. You're gonna finish off this munitions depot. And you're going to finish off. That munitions depot. We also apparently have coastal batteries that are still in play. So the fourth flight is going to go over here. And they're going to engage these guys. All right. So we've got four flights of F-15s inbound. Meanwhile, our helos are all returning to base. We also have our uh, other aircraft here returning to base. I guess these guys have enough fuel to kind of loiter in the area, just in case there's enemy fighters that come south. There's, there's definitely been more air activity that we could be thinking about. I could be thinking, I could be more tactical or strategic with, with how I send my... Uh, send my aircraft in, but I'm really just he he having them head straight in. Wait, 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 what's happening? I hear explosions. Oh shit, they're bombarding our northern base. They're bombarding the garrison with artillery. You can see the rounds coming in. Shit. I can't do anything about it either. I mean, I can set these guys to fly faster. Military speed, go full throttle. Get up there, boys. Probably gonna burn through all our fuel. I don't want to send them on afterburners. I can only do that for a couple minutes. All right, so our shipping is almost in range of this enemy shipping. We're getting up there close. All right, so we're just about in range of this enemy Corvette. Engage offensive. Engage target. We are opening fire with gunfire. We've also got missiles. Wow! Boom! He's dead. Good luck, North Korean ships. That guy died so fast. Oh, I didn't realize we were already in missile range. Boom! Oh, the scenario's over. We win! Woo! I guess we win even though we didn't finish off the enemy target completely. Which is probably good because they would have blown that uh, garrison of ours potentially before our men could get in range. Final score, 1,300. 
I'm guessing there's a potential of 2,000 if you do it better than I did. I saved the world from the North Koreans. All right, so let's take a look. This is always fun for me. How many weapons did we use? What was the expense ex uh, consumed? 32 uh, land attack cruise missiles, 96 AGM Hellfires. Those are really anti-tank weapons. 152 70 millimeter hydro rockets. Those things are cheap as hell. We did expend one AIM-9 Sidewinder, three AIM-120 AMRAMs, eight Mavericks that were launched by our FA-50s. Uh, those are infrared Mavericks. Uh, Ten... By the way, the Maverick is, was one of my favorite weapons to sling on the F-16 in Falcon 4.0. God, that thing was so much fun. Um, 10 76mm HE uh, bursts off of our warships and four LIG 130 Gamurls, uh, which I'm assuming is some kind of smart shell. Uh, J Street, thanks for the bits. All right, here. I hope the audio during the combat was okay. It's kind of loud in my ear. The enemy lost six KN-01 TELs, so surface-to-surface anti-ship missiles, four radar square tie rangeouts, uh, 33 130mm artillery pieces, 20 30mm anti-aircraft guns, two MiG-19s, one Taishong-2 Corvette, one 611 Sarawan Improved Trail Corvette. Uh, and the enemy used 24 of its SA-300 uh, variants, the KN-06, to basically no effect and 118 130 millimeter HE shells. We lost nothing. So that's a pretty good pretty good outcome, I think. Um, yeah. Player score. Destroying critical target. All right. You know. Uh, shoot. I shouldn't have closed that. How do I get that back? Score sheet. Do I go back to the score sheet? Continue campaign. God of War. The outcome of the South Korean strike on North Korean forces was a clear military victory, but would have terrible political outcomes. So there's a big, long story in this that is worth reading. I highly recommend reading it because it gives you the whole, like, what the hell is actually going on in this scenario? And, um, you know, why are we fighting and all of that stuff, which... As much as I do want to read through it, I don't think makes for livid, uh, or not livid, it doesn't make for great reading on a stream. So, you know. In any event, that was a victory for us. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a live stream taken from my Twitch channel from just last night. Uh, it was a little bit on the longer side for my YouTube videos, but I didn't want to chop it into pieces because uh, there weren't really many good spots to like stop. The first 30 minutes was very heavily uh, looking at just different features in the game, and the last 30 minutes was all action. Uh, and so I didn't want to make a boring 30-minute video, uh, and the, the last 30 minutes, I, I, there wasn't a natural spot to stop. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, as always. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.